The next three parameters pages covered in the following iMachining operations are the Technology Wizard, Technology, and Link pages. Switch to the Technology Wizard page. By default, the wizard will use automatic to calculate the optimal step-down values. As you can see, the wizard will step down the full depth, 19.81 millimeters. The machining level aggressiveness is set to 6 by default. This was the machine default level assigned to the CNC machine in exercise number 1, camp part definition. The output cutting data section displays two sets of data related to the current cutting condition. The spin and feed rate of the tool, the stepover range, the material cutting speed, etc. The technology wizard is covered in greater detail in exercise number 3. On the technology page, the step-down and cutting angles generated by the wizard are shown. By default, a 0.24 mm allowance will be left on the walls. Any offsets would typically be removed by a rest machining and or finishing operation. I rest and I finish are covered later in exercise number 4. On the link page, the helical entry settings do not apply to this particular geometry since it is similar to a profile machining operation. I machining will enter and exit the cut where it calculates best. At this point, the operation can be calculated and the I machining toolpath can be viewed on the model. Name the operation I rough, outside, contour. Click the Save and Calculate button to add the iRough operation to the cam tree and calculate the iMachining toolpath. Click the Simulate button to display the simulation control panel. Using the default HostCAD simulation mode, click the Play button to present the wireframe toolpath. The tool moves around the part model until the entire outside contour is machined. Close the simulation control panel with the exit button to display the iMachining operation dialog box. Then, click the exit button to close the iMachining operation dialog box. At this stage, step 2 is complete. If you have not followed along, apply and practice the procedure shown in these videos to add an iMachining 2D operation to the cam part and define the rough machining of the outside contour.